Back in 2017, I made a video of several videos, in fact, about these things with these inexpensive uh, signal generators, so frequency generators. And uh, um, I explored controlling them through the serial interface because these you can control either with the buttons or you can connect up a, this to a serial port and you can send instructions. So that makes them quite useful for being able to control them for example, with an Arduino. Now, um, a, a viewer of mine, Mustafa, said that he was having difficulty setting the frequency um, with mod a module that he had. And um, I have a few modules here that I've purchased since 2017, which I suspect are slightly different uh, also. So what I've, what I've done here is I've um, connected up a USB to serial port so I can connect this to the, to the computer and show you on the screen what commands I'm sending. And um, so I'll con connect this one up, connect it to, to the oscilloscope and we'll experiment with the commands and see why this is different to the, uh, to the older ones. So now I've got this module connected up to power here and also connected to the scope. So um, you can see at the moment we've got the readout of uh, 0 0.100 which means 100 hertz and um, that's holding up pretty precisely on the, uh, the frequency count on the oscilloscope. So we'll mess with the, um, the serial interface. So if we do the read command first of all, so this reads back the current settings of the module and we can see that we've got 100 hertz as the frequency and the duty cycle 50%. So um, th with these newer modules, the the command set's slightly different to the old one that I made the video on before. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I will uh, put a link up above here so that you can go and have a look at that. So uh, previously you could put a decimal point in the commands. If I said F 10.5, for example, which was to select uh, like 10 and a half kilohertz. But now it says fail because the, the command set has been changed on this one. So here, t if I wanted to select um, one kilohertz, I would simply do F 1000 now. And you can see that says OK. The display is updated on the oscilloscope. It's now reading one kilohertz. And um, if I read back the settings, you can see that it's now saying uh, 10,000, uh, sorry, 1,000 1, hertz. And similarly, if I say F10,000, again, it says OK. And the oscilloscope is now saying 10 kilohertz. And if I um, change the time base a bit, you can see that the I mean this the wave is a bit trapezoidal, but it's it's pretty good, you know, for such a cheap module. And in fact, the maximum frequency of this module 150,000. So that's 150 kilohertz. That's reading a bit high on the oscilloscope, or oh, no, actually slightly low on the oscilloscope, but that's fine. 150 kilohertz is quite a lot for this, um, you know, for a cheap module to be able to produce. Um, and if I try and force it higher, if I say 151,000, then it tells me fail. So it definitely is 150,000. Is the is the top setting, um, and the the duty cycle output uh, input is slightly different as well. So previously you had to say D O five O like that, which actually still works, but you can now say um, D two for example to get two percent um, two percent duty cycle and it's lost synchrony on the oscilloscope because the duty cycle is so small. But, um, 
if I set it to a thousand hertz there we go so so we're getting some quite narrow pulses on the display and similarly if I say D98 so 98 percent duty cycle we get the opposite so you can see that it's nearly all on with occasional dips down to down to zero so if I say D50 it'll go back to the 50-50 duty cycle so um, so those commands are slightly improved I think um, it's, it's, they've made it a bit easier to use but of course it's now incompatible with the earlier versions uh, something else that I noticed is that when you first power on the module it actually sends a little um, URL to the screen so if I switch that on you see it's saying www.deekrobot.com so this is possibly a way of telling these newer modules from the from the older ones so that you can send them uh, appropriate commands um, so, so there we go there we go these modules I think you know still excellent value for money slightly different now um, but uh, you know I would argue perhaps improved okay thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video